want to give our honor and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. And always give another edifying message, a quick little message, to talk a little bit about something. So this is Matthew chapter 12, verse 30, 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hands toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my father is in heaven, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. So he said, whoever does the will of the Most High. So obviously, let's go and see what the will of the Most High is. Let's go to Psalm chapter 40, verse 8. Because he said, if you do the will of the Most High, you are a brother, a sister, a mother. So this is Psalms 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law, thy law, thy law is within my heart. So when he said that in Matthew 12, Yahweh said straight up. Yeah, I have earthly family members, but the people that really do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. Because we all know the people that's in the truth that know that Jesus Christ, who they call yeah, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, is a um is a black man. That his his chosen people are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That you know, saying the Most High God, the Creator, His Father, which is in heaven, Yahweh, is a black man. And you know, what I'm saying. I'm going to read this next precept. Um, uh, I think it's, yeah, Matthew 24. So it says, um, let me see. Uh, uh, let me find it real quick. I'm trying to find it where it says it real quick. Uh, let's see. But yeah, it talks about you shall be betrayed both by like. Let me go to Luke. Let me go to Luke. Maybe it's in Luke 21. Let's see. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. Like, yeah, right here. Yeah. So, like, yeah, it's in Luke 21, actually. It says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death and we was watching the video shout out to their brother you dropped the video it's talking about like oh a martial law kicks off some of us like Yahweh Shai said it's gonna be casting into those little FEMA camps and they gonna test you and they gonna try to make you denounce the faith but you gotta remain strong and you gotta endure all the way to the end because you gotta prove that you want this kingdom you got to prove to you how it's shy. Your forefathers was willing to die to keep these commandments. How far are you to go for the most high to show him you want to be written in that book of life? So when you see people that are not in the truth, your parents, your mama that gave birth to you, your daddy that gave, gave life, uh, uh, your blood brother, your blood sister that's not in the truth, your cousins, your family that, that betray you, Give you up. Don't be crying and mourning. Oh, why do you leave? No. You should have already known that what the scripture says. Whoever does the will is your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister. Anybody that's not in this truth, that's our earthly family. But we still love and pray that they come to the fold. But we all know what the scripture says. It says they're going to betray us. Because Yahweh Shai was betrayed by Judas. And that same Judas spirit is going to come right back on the earth. So I want people to be already prepared. Don't be ignorant. Don't be blind to the signs that's going on in this world. Yahweh Shai already warned you twice. Matthew 24 and Luke 21. Take heed. Take this warning. Stop being. Stop. 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 
got to stop being in everybody's face. You got to be with your brothers and sisters. You got to gather yourselves together. Because we all know what what's going to happen. S is going to hit, hit the fan real soon. So we need to go ahead and get prepared. Get ready for whatever comes that you are to be prepared and ready. But I want to give all honor and praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to say Shalom Israel.